anticipated that we thought we would need. But at the end of the year, we're seeing we need to increase some of these to mm -hmm. help adjust for that, to help adjust for some expenses that were incurred. Different things happen throughout the year. It's really not unusual to have a supplemental budget. A lot of cities do it every single year because you have things that come through that you haven't anticipated. And the supplemental budget is what gets you back in line with what you need to do. And yeah, when I was going through this information, you can really see that our revenues are up and our yes. expenditures are way down. Oh yeah, and so that's, that's why we've been able to, to whittle off right. and fill that bucket back a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it's, we're not out of the woods, I don't want anybody to think mm -hmm. that, but what this budget does is allow us to get to a point where the financials that we'll be printing off that we can start handing them to you without all this funky stuff um, these odd numbers playing a part of that. We don't want that because we want to be able to give you something that you can look at that is giving you the correct picture of what's happening. And it, and it is working. We have some good numbers coming through. We're, we're balancing the math. Um, and one statement I will say, as Don said, what is in the LGIP? Um, you guys know what's in the LGIP. You get, you get, get the statements. So they get the statements. Oh, I guess you misunderstood. I mean, uh, one of the suggestions in the supplemental was to take Fifty-two thousand dollars from the LGIP. I'm asking, what does that leave us with? Uh, two ten, two oh nine. And isn't that basically around what we have to hold to pay the bonds with every year? So we pretty much have nothing in savings. Yeah. 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 But we don't yeah. anticipate moving the money out of the LGIP to pay the bond. We anticipate having the money. Yeah, we anticipate having the money from current funds. We don't even plan on touching that. Don't touch that anyway. It just I, I don't know how we could have savings at this point. I mean, yeah, that, that's we're down thirty-eight thousand dollars because we pinched it back. Yeah, and we held yeah. Onto it yeah. Right in there. I haven't loved it. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. <clears throat> but but Susie, going back to your bucket. Hmm? Going back to your bucket. Hmm? You know, I think it's hard. And your level. Why? The true figures yeah. can't yeah, this go is in. Oh, was it? Why, why the same figures can't win that should be on that budget? Because your, your level is going to come back, whether it's 200,000, 500,000, and a million. Why can't and the two figures be in that bucket? You move beyond the council, or to the council discussion, so the council has to discuss it now. It's not open for questions. That was a swag, really. Um, any, other, any other comments? I would like to make a comment. Yes. Um, I know a lot of work has gone into this, and Christine said a lot of the things that I was thinking. Um, we've come, we've come a long way. We've come a long way in this two years, year and a half, and I think that we should be proud of what's been going on, and not feel like every a, a lot of communities have to do supplemental budgets. So, I think that they're doing a good job on this. That's what he went back and found that. Do you have any questions? Anybody else? Any questions or comments, you say? I have a few, as I usually do. <laughs> um, in going through the audit and comparing that with the supplemental budget, there are several differences as far as the audit itself. <clears throat> I'm sure there are. The audit actually um, dropped about four funds and moved them into the general fund under gas before 54. Uh, one of those funds were the unemployment fund, which they actually moved to minus 74,771. That's a transfer. They dropped the fund, but did they drop the fund or did they just move it to a different spot? No, they moved, they moved, they dropped the fund and moved the debt to the general fund. So we no longer have an unemployment fund. That's correct. The other, the other uh, two funds, one of those funds uh, was the wood stove fund. And, uh, it's still there. Yeah, we, we, we kept that. Yeah. Even, what, even if that says that. We in the audit it says it was moved into the general fund under the same GASB 54, mm -hmm. under the same rule that you just said we did with the unemployment fund. Yeah, we didn't, but we didn't move it. We kept it as a separate fund. I know what they did. I'm just telling you, we kept it. Okay. So the stuff that you said you did here came out of the audit, right? The numbers did. That's correct. Yes. But not where they, not where they're residing. Correct. 
the numbers, so we kept the wood stove fund by itself. Okay, on, on, our, on the budget yeah. I'm presenting. It is. I, yeah. I, will, I will give you that. Yeah. Uh, cumulative law enforcement fund, we had to drop that one, put it in the... No, we just, we just closed it to totally. Close that one out. Well, <coughs> we're, we're, we're just don't have any money in it, basically. I think the cumulative law fund is actually closed. It says closed. Yeah, that's that yeah, so yeah, okay, that was that was that we did. Okay. Okay. It wasn't okay. utilized. And, and the reason I'm bringing this up is because they have an impact on some of the, your, the, some of the rationale. And the last one is the agency reserve fund. And that was an error on the part of the auditors. We do not have an agency reserve fund. Right. What that, was a, that was a prior administration slush fund. Correct. But it was, we don't have that anymore. Well, we have an agency fund, but it's not a reserve fund. Right. We have the agency fund, and I'm keeping that one alive for the supplemental budget just to hold on to the gas tax money. And on the 13-14 budget, we'll rename it uh, Bicycle Pedestrian Fund. Uh, on 13, 14, because there's like 11,000 or 12,000 in there uh, gas tax money for bicycle and pet funds. So that's the only reason that I'm in the budget, I'm keeping that one alive to, to keep that money in there. In, in the audit, there's $95,240. Well, it won't be after you're done right now. So that, that money there that's was absorbed you. into the general fund. I'm looking at our last audit, page 31. Okay. You'll notice okay. there's a statement down there that says reconciliation to government fund balance as required by GASB 54. So on, on that fund, what we're doing is, like I said, for, for the budget, I'm keeping that fund open just to hold on to the gas tax money because there's a number of transfers we're taking out of there to put into the general fund. General fund and, and the uh, EMS. The EMS. And the agency fund itself is going to be still called an agency fund? Yeah, that's because there's other things that are funded in there besides the gas tax. Yeah.
only agency reserve we had was that reserve. I didn't say it was in the supplemental oh, budget. Okay. I said it was in the audit. Oh. Okay. And in the audit, it was called the uh, a reserve fund when it wasn't a reserve fund. Okay. Because we had that. The only thing we had for 11 and 12 would have been that that, uh, e that EMS reserve fund was created in 11. So that's the only one real reserve fund that we had was that one. Am I correct? Real reserve, reserve fund. That's the only legal reserve fund. Oh, legal yeah, reserve fund. The was just called a reserve fund and they <laughs> work. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. So the the Woodstock replacement fund, we're keeping its own fund. Yeah. Uh, the that. agency fund, we are diminishing down to the Parks and Pets part the, for the 13-14 budget. The gas tax. Okay. And right. then the, the unemployment fund, we are actually we rolling have, into that the general fund. fund. We've already yeah. taken care of that. Yeah. And that will be closed out in the 13-14 budget. Yeah, the, um, the actual employment fund, yeah. Okay. I don't even have it in here. I only have it in, in, in your budget there, because I, we shifted them. Oh, it's in there. I did have, It's in there, and it shows that the debt was shifted to the general fund. That's correct. Okay. And secondly, Don brought up a, a number of questions. Um, and somewhere along the line, those questions need to be answered. I'm not sure how that's been well, in a public hearing, actually. Well, I, I, I think we attempted to answer most of them just now, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. We attempted to. I don't know that we did, but we attempted to. I think we covered most of them, actually. Yeah. I guess I'd have to leave, uh, get through that to Dawn and say if that, so she asked the questions. Are you? Um, I'm, I'm looking at them right now. Um, well, first I wanted to point out really quick that I think you mentioned two agency funds in the supplemental, and one of them is on page 5, it's just an agency program. The other oh, one yeah. is on page 24, which is agency fund or something like that. So I just wanted to point out that you're correct, there's two of them in this budget with the agency. word agency. Yeah, I don't have that. Yeah, what that, what that agency fund is, that agency program fund, that now they've changed the name of that to agency programs, but that needs to stay there because it's got that's where you put your RTMP funding projects and professional services and all yeah. of the right. building yeah. right. miscellaneous things. It is. It is. Yeah, right. and that should stay there. Yeah. The other one, the slice yeah. fund, the agency reserve fund, should never be there. Yeah, and it's it not be gone. Yeah, it's not there. Right. I want to see it again. It's not there. Okay. It's gone. <laughs> so what about the um, one of the questions that I had was the bulk of the audits and Tiffany's fees all occurring in twenty. Twelve. So, how did we get so much expense for that stuff in thirteen? No, we didn't. No, no. Most of our expense. Uh, it was prior to June. No, prior to July. There was actually there was expenses into this year. Plus, we had the auditors. We had two oddities that came into in, in this year. Yeah. In this year, okay. Because so, they hadn't finished up. Yeah. Okay, so that, so we ended up paying forty eight plus. Five, about 53000 just for the audits yeah. in this fiscal year. So all that stuff carried over. They, That's right, because they did the, they they finished did the audit in uh, December, so that would have been an issue. Yeah, and we finished two of them, basically. We finished two of them in the well, six months. Well, audits then. Yeah. Yeah. So, so different audits. Oh, no. So and you don't, you don't pay prepay anything for the audits? It's no, all when it's done? they're done. Did you ever recover any money from uh, Forrest Gump and Company? No, well, unfortunately, we didn't recover anything from Forrest Gump and Company. Um, and there wasn't any attorneys that wanted to take that that we really wanted to pursue. Oh, Roth and. Company. And what about the administrative overhead then? Um, Can you I, account for the hours that are in the two hundred sixty-three thousand dollar figure? I believe. Well, I'm, she's talking on my current. Um, I, oh. can, I, can, I can account for most of them because I am. I wear all the hats. I do. I econ economic development. I'm the public works director, the community services director, the planner. So and uh, so I've got people. I've got people in and out doing all kinds of that stuff. I mean, and it could be even be a general fund employee that I'm grabbing. Okay, from time to time, stuff on the stuff. But can, so, are you saying that you can count double hours for yourself at the same time? I'm saying I function in all those jobs. Right, that's I understand that's, that, that's, but that's all I'm saying. I function in all those so your, jobs. Your pay is spread right, along, along. I, I'm sure all the staff are, but 
That no, I I, no? I have the titles. I I'm the one who spread around all of those funds. I do a lot of extra work, and it took a lot of extra work over time for everyone as we were trying to clean up all this mess. So all I'm trying to do is is, is get us up, caught up as we cleaned up all these messes, all the audits, all the time we put into these things that was spread out citywide as we work with auditors and everybody else and CPAs to try and fix all these different funds. So that was a lot of it also as we were trying to fix all the different funds. So. Do I anticipate us going to that big of a number in the future? No. Because I hope that we don't get into the same position of having to clean up this mess again. So. And I think you will see that. You will see that in the 13-14 budget that that number should not be anywhere close to that. So the bottom line is, we need to have enough money at the end of June to carry us to the, to the middle of November. Right. And if we don't, then we have an issue. Right. If we do, then we don't have an issue. And it doesn't bother me. Right. Um, is there any other comments? Anything else? So with this, we would have enough money. I mean, following this, certainly we would have enough money. I, I, I feel confident that we will have an ending fund balance. Yes. At the pace that we are going at this well, I, she's thinking 209, I'm thinking 230. <coughs> Just, um, you know, less? Oh, you read it. You bought me an email. Okay. I took the numbers from our actual revenue and expenditure and put it out for 12 months and did all the math, and I came up with 210,000 actual ending. So, independent of Louis's information, I came up with something very similar. So. With a lot simpler process. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> go ahead, yeah, no. Mine is like <laughs> basic high school math. <laughs> That's a lot of use. <laughs> All right. Was that positive or negative? Oh, oh, I do have one more. Sure. We have the two other funds that we're closing. Oh, I'm sorry. We're just zeroing them out. Yes, we're and just zeroing them out. And then the 13 14. And then the 13 14. We'll do a whole resolution and present that to you to close out whatever funds you want to close. Is that the first fund? And uh, the EMS. No, no. no. You can't Not just close funds out. No, you have to do them by resolution. You have to do them by resolution, and it takes three years. You don't just say, okay, I'm going to close this form because you got it already in your budget online. Mm -hmm. That line is a three year line. So, three years from now, you can say we want to do that, but you still have to carry it over every year. So, oh, you know, so you're saying, yeah, we do the resolution, okay, saying that we're closing it, and, and what the mayor is saying is that we, we still have to carry it. to carry it in the budget. The carry, piece of paper has carry to carry the piece of paper zeroed out for three years, three years yeah. after that. And I just say zero, we work on a budget, so we'll close over to the fall. And so that's three years of the fall, the whole line of the fall. And that's what we, we intend to do with the 13-14 budget, is to present a number of funds okay. as you close. Anything else? This isn't the time to talk about this, right? This isn't the time to talk about yeah. it. About zero now, are we getting rid of that? Oh, no, uh, that, uh, we'll be going to the budget meeting next month sometime. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to start around the, around the 10th, the 10th of May, for the budget committee right in that area for our first meeting. And, and at that time, then a lot of these things, that's a different situation. The supplemental budget <laughs> basically, basically <laughs> takes into consideration all the re excess revenues we got, primarily the excess <laughs> revenues. Uh, and, and at the same time, we try to take the excess revenues and, and, and deal with the deficit. Well, see, that's the way I kind of put my mind at ease with this whole thing. This is, just a, this is just a way of presenting the, like, the money we got from the millionaire and all the other things and getting it back into a budget because it wasn't the budget last, last year, so we don't have money to spend. That, that one was, but the library for sure, all these beginning fund balances that cross over, they weren't budgeted. So, so how, much, how much money actually went in to the supplemental budget that we didn't have in the budget last year? For, for oh, goodness, 400, uh, total, for the total budget count, 400.
800, 700, 800, from the total budget, almost a million. So this adds in a million dollars into the budget that we Yeah, we'll almost a million with, with the and different funds and, and, and this the bonds. that we have that we're putting into, <coughs> we want to go spend it in Kevin Party night. Not all of it. <laughs> it's not in the budget. <laughs> Barnes right down the street. I'm ready to start reading. <laughs> not in the budget. All right. Any further discussion? Straightforward, pretty simple 
Yeah, I think the only thing you'll see is increases from previous from the 12, 13. You're just going to see the PERS and medical increases. So, anyway, back to this one. So, Mr. Mayor, I move that we approve resolution 3 2013 adopting the FY. 2012-2013 supplemental budget and making appropriations and imposing and categorizing taxes. I second. Second by or moved by Councilor Clark. Second by Christine. Councilor Christine. <laughs> to what she said. I moved to approve <laughs> resolution three days, 2013. It's got about four lines to it. Mm -hmm. All right. Any further discussion? I would just like to say that I'm, not, I'm still not convinced it's the right thing to do, but I'm convinced it's the only thing we can do at the moment. So I guess I'm going to go for it, but it just seems strange. That's all Anything else? Okay. Councilor Schleyman? Aye. Councilor Biggerstaff? Aye. Councilor Clark? Aye. Mayor Shorey? Nay. Councilor Bazer? Aye. Got a motion carries. All right. I believe that's about the end of our agenda, I think. Yes, sir.